Okay, so we're going to look at how to rewrite standard form equations that don't factor into graphing form by completing the square. So in the previous video, I showed how to do this, how you did this with algebra tiles. Now let's look at how to do this just with the generic rectangles we use for factoring. So remember, I always start with the x squared. So to complete the square, make your square okay so I'm going to put the x squared up here so this is what you do so we're going to take I'm going to do some blue remember these squares I'm highlighting they have to have to have to add to equal the middle term so in this case 4x, right? So what you do to complete the square is you take this and you split this in half. So I'm going to say, what is 4x over 2? And that equals 2x. The sign matters. So I'm going to put a positive 2x here and a positive 2x there. That's the difference between factoring and completing the square of this triangle, this rectangle. I split the middle term into these two things and so I can I I'm going to factor so this is always going to be x and x and then with when I complete the square the lengths of the width and length should be identical because these square pieces are the same so this is a plus 2 and this is a plus 2 so to complete the square I want to write what do I get when I complete this multiplication in here? So I get 2 and 2, I get a plus 4. Okay, so I'm going to circle this. This is for a reference. So what I have, this square, represents x plus 2 squared. Now in this problem, okay, highlights in green, I have 9 single tiles I want. But here, here I only got four but I want nine so I actually need to add more tiles here to give me the nine I want here so I have four how many more do I need well I need to add five more into there to get nine right four plus five is nine so if I add five here to the square I have to add five here to the expression because x plus 2 squared represented the whole area of this square but it didn't give me enough tiles so I had to add the tiles to there and so I get f of x equals and this is the graphing form equation of this original standard form equation then if I want to go further the vertex is hk so again it's in graphing form it looks like this so I always have to think the opposite of this number to find the vertex so the opposite of 2 is negative 2 so that's the x coordinate of this graph's vertex of parabola then the k is just whatever numbers out back 5 so if I were to graph this equation here I would expect it to have a vertex at negative 2 and 5 I'm going to do one more here. I got to get rid of some stuff. So I'll get rid of this. So I want to do one problem where, you know what? It's not quite, it's not very nice. So I got to get everything set up here. So I want to do this. So what if we had this function? So f is going to be x squared plus 5x plus 2. Now the tricky thing here is, in the previous video and slide, the middle term was even. Nice to evenly divide even numbers. But now what happens if the middle term is odd? Does the process change? So drawing my square area. Okay, again, I'm going to put the x squared here. And then in yellow, right? These squares still have to add to equal this here. And so just because it's 
odd doesn't mean I do anything different. So I'm going to actually take 5x, say, well, what is half of positive 5x? Well, that is actually positive 2.5x or 5 halves x. So I like to use fractions. And so I'm going to put 5 halves in here and 5 halves in here. And so in my, trying, in my rectangle, I get x and x, and I get a plus 5 halves here and a plus 5 halves here. Right? And so this area, so let's complete this. 5 halves times 5 halves is 25 fourths, right? So this is what I have. This thing here is x plus 5 halves squared. Or you can put 2.5 because it doesn't matter. Now we have to decide, do I have too many or do I have too few? Well, I only want two tiles in here, right? I only want two, but I have 25 and a fourth of a tile. So two is the same thing as eight fourths. Well, 25 fourths is greater than any fourth. So I have too many. So the question is, how many do I have to take away? I have to take some out of here, okay? And how many do I have to take away? Well, I have to take away 25 fourths minus 8 fourths of a tile. So 25 minus 8 is 17 fourths. So I actually have to subtract out of here 17 and a quarter tile. So I end up with 2. So that is going to be what I have out back. And so that is my graphing form equation of this line this parabola, sorry. And so the vertex would be at negative 5 over 2 and negative 17 over 4. You can do the decimals. So I'm going to leave you with a question. So what if I have this new function and this is the and here is my equation. Can you graph, write, rewrite this in graphing form and name the vertex? All right, good luck.